Hello everyone, this is Jason Merkel with Horizon Hobby and we're here today with the E-Flight Air Tractor 1.5 meter, uh, what I like to call the capable and easy to fly crop duster. Uh, this airplane is amazing guys, 1.5 meter span, you guys can see a pretty good size here. Uh, for those that aren't familiar with this as subject matter, you should look it up because it's a very interesting aircraft. There's a lot of these in use all over the world today, everything from crop dusting to firefighting uses, uh, and then there's even some other more unique uses if you check those out. Um, it's been around for uh, quite a while now this design, so a lot of you guys might be familiar with it. Um, one thing I'd like to say is kind of overall, I liken it to a low wing timber. You basically take a timber 1.5 meter, you'll put the wing on the bottom, and this flies a lot like that would fly. So it's not only easy to fly, fun to fly, it's also stole capable. So you can take off and land in short distances. It's got really great power. Uh, speaking of the power system, it's basically got the same power system as the Turbo Timber 1.5 meter. So you guys can see we've got the three blade prop on there. We've got the motor and 50 amp ESC that are both 3S and 4S capable out of the box. You don't have to change anything to run it on 4S or 3S. Uh, on 3S, it's got very good performance, a lot like a Turbo Timber, of course. Uh, and then when you put a 4S in it, you've got unlimited vertical, more speed, more performance all around. Uh, I know a lot of guys are going to enjoy it on 3S. Uh, that said, today it's pretty windy, so we're actually flying a 4S 3200. And you can fly anything from a 3S 2200 or 4S 2200 all the way up to, um, again, 4S uh, uh, 3200 as well. So there's a big range of batteries in there. Most guys are going to already have those batteries from either flying timbers or other models. And again, the performance on 4S is unbelievable. Uh, it does have AS3X. This is the Bind and Fly basic version, which is going to be great here on, in this kind of blustery conditions. Uh, it does also have the option to use safe select. If you use safe select, you need at least a six channel transmitter. It is a five channel aircraft because it does have functional slotted flaps. You guys can see those there in action. Uh, in addition to the flaps, it's also got the navigation lights. Not sure you guys can see them here in the lighting, but we've got uh, the wingtip lights, we've got the strobes, we've got the landing lights in the nose. Basically, similar light package to what's in the Turbo Timber 1.5 meter uh, as well. You guys can see we've got pretty darn large tires, and the area that we're flying in today, this grass is pretty thick, pretty clumpy, and we wanted to show it in this environment in particular because it does handle this ground pretty darn well. Of course, you can also fly it off of smooth surfaces or gravel or some of the other things that we showed in our other videos. Uh, not to mention on top of that, it's also uh, compatible with the floats from the Turbo Timber 1.5 meter, or the original Timber 1.5 meter. So those floats do bolt on the bottom. Uh, which is a really nice touch if you want to fly off of water. And then on top of that, we have an optional scale-like ski set available for it as well. So you have a lot of different options. Fly it off of grass, gravel, hard surfaces, off of water, off of snow, off of wet grass, pretty much anywhere you can fly this airplane. So uh, that said, let's get to the flying. I will show you guys a little bit of everything. It's very easy to fly. It's also very capable at the same time. And, and on top of it all, it's very, very versatile with all those landing gear options. So let's check it out. So one thing I will point out is that I am going to use a fair bit of up elevator on high rates to keep the uh, nose from nosing over. Taxing a little bit crosswind right now. All right, here we go. So I've got the takeoff flaps in. I'm again, I'm holding up elevator as I add power. Let the airplane get going, and I'm just going to keep the throttle around half and just kind of let it fly off the ground, nice and scale and smooth. No problem. A little later in the video, I'll show you guys a more high performance takeoff. So I'm gonna put the flaps up, keep it at kind of a low throttle setting here. Really love the way that yellow trim scheme just pops in the sky. And that is probably the most common trim scheme that you see on this airplane in the full scale world. Bring it by here, slow and smooth. That's a little less than half power guys with a four cell 3200 in there. Tight little turn here, bring it back by the other way. Just a really sweet flying airplane, guys. Super easy handling. If you've flown a timber in particular, you can easily fly and enjoy this airplane. I'm gonna add a little more power. I'm gonna go up here and do a little stall turn. Go into a roll here. Turn back around. Do a nice loop into the wind. It's a fair bit of wind today, probably around 10, gusting upwards of 15. But AS3X and then the aerodynamics of this airframe are handling it very, very well. Very smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and put the flaps all the way down and show you guys some slow flying.
and it's amazing how slow this airplane will fly. And there's just no bad habits, guys. It doesn't do anything funky, it doesn't snap, it doesn't flick, it doesn't do any of the things that, that some airplanes can do. It's got this relatively constant cord, pretty much Hershey bar wing on it. We've got washout in the wingtips. Very, very well mannered, so I have no problem flying around slow and low here. Kind of doing a crop duster style. By the way, guys, I'm using some rudder in those turns. That's something uh, that a lot of guys these days aren't learning to use the rudder as much. But using just aileron and elevator, you don't get these nice kind of bring the nose around turns where you can do it nice and tight without gaining altitude. So it's what we call coordinated turns. Something to practice on a simulator if you've got one, of course, real flight being perfect for that. Also flying the timbers. Pretty much any model that has a rudder benefits from coordinated turns. All right, I'm gonna put the flaps up and now I'm gonna add a lot more power and show you guys how much performance this has on the 4S battery. So we're gonna bring it back by. I'm now at full throttle. It's pretty darn fast. Even though it's a crop duster, it moves. Do rolls all day long. And it does have pretty much a limited vertical performance on 4S. It'll just go out of sight. And then something else that I kind of found interesting earlier today flying this was uh, I like doing some knife edge with it. Does it pretty darn well, actually. <laughs> Not particularly scale, but you know, at the same time, an airplane like this is great because you can fly it scale like if you want. And then if uh, you know, you either get bored or you want a little bit more performance, no problem. This airplane can do it. So it can do rolls, of course, loops, stall turns. Knife edge. And on top of it all, it could even fly inverted. Now I know some guys watching this video are probably thinking to themselves, you know, that's not at all scale for an air tractor. And again, it's not. But you have the option to fly the airplane like this if you so choose. <laughs> all right, now. I'm going to put the flaps down all the way and I'm going to show you guys a quick landing and then I'm going to show you a stole takeoff, show you just how much power and just how quickly this can get off the ground. So I've got basically full flaps, landing flaps, so to speak, bring her into the wind. And again, this is not the nicest surface in the world, guys, but this airplane handles it no problem. So there you go. Now, I'm not going to use full flaps for the stole takeoff. I'm just going to use half flaps or takeoff flaps, so to speak. But I'm going to show you guys. Basically, full throttle. Got to keep that full up elevator, and the airplane's just going to jump right off the ground. It actually might be hard for the cameraman to keep it in, in the shot, but he'll try. Unlimited vertical. No problem right off a of takeoff. Now, I'm going to put the flaps down. And I'm going to turn it into a very, very quick landing. Look at that, guys. And I also want to point out just how well it can handle taxiing on this surface. No problem. You can see the grass is pretty darn thick. It's pretty darn clumpy. It's pretty rough. And it has no issues at all. So there you guys have it, the E-Flight Air Tractor 1.5 meter. Thank you.